Hello everyone, welcome back. This is video number 8 in the Long Dark playthrough series of Winter Mute and we are still here with Jeremiah, exactly where we left off. Uh, he has set us his survival school challenge, so that is what we're going to be doing. And I have a feeling that is what we're going to be doing for quite a while. So, let us uh, eat, drink and be merry before we go anywhere else. I am running a bit short of food, or at least I haven't got very much on my radial dial. And that's because I don't actually have very much food. Um, quite a lot of these sodas, so I'm going to have some of those. We're going to have to go on a little bit of a food, uh, food supplying mission, I think. Because we can't really risk running out of food. Particularly since we can't use the food that's here because it's Jeremiah's and he obviously doesn't like sharing. Uh, right, okay, so if we just have a quick look at our missions, you can see what we've got to do. We need uh, four cattail swords, which we actually already have. Eight rose hips, eight old man's beard wound dressings, uh, well, old man's beard lichens, and eight rishi mushrooms. So hopefully, that's not going to take us too long to get. And there is a container that we need to put it in, and I think it's outside. Uh, I'm fairly sure that container is outside. So let's leave the cabin. It's probably still dark, actually. Because we travelled here at night. Oh, no, it's not dark, but it ain't exactly good either. I'm actually at hypothermia risk already. Okay, this is the container. So let's pop in one, two, three, four cattail stalks. Are we carrying anything else? And four rage mushrooms. Okay, so if we have a quick look at our missions then. So we've got the four cattail stalks. We've got four of the eight rage mushrooms, three of the eight almonds, beard, and obviously none of the rose hips. So. Let's go for a walk. Let's head back towards... Oh, okay, we've come out into the cold and our hypothermia risk is healed. That's impressive. Uh, right, let's head back towards camp office. And hopefully on the way we will find some of the things we need. And even if we don't, camp office is uh, probably our best bet to uh, as a base. And I can't... I honestly can't remember because it has been a while since I played it and a while since we've been to camp office. It's, um... What did I leave in there? I honestly can't remember. So let's head up the slope. And back over the hill. So the way, basically the way we just came at the end of the previous video. Keeping our eyes open for any of the things that we need. I'm heading back to camp office simply because cattail stalk. Well, I, yes, I've just thought about that. I'm being a bit, I'm being a bit thick. Uh, I was going to say I'm heading back to camp office because of the cattail stalks and all that stuff. And I've just realised I don't need cattail stalks. I've got all of those. <laughs> I don't need them. Never mind. Okay, now I think I have gone slightly the wrong way. I am very good at getting lost on the way back from uh, Trapper's Homestead towards Camp Office. It is one of my specialist areas, getting lost on this particular journey. I'm kind of hoping if I go this way we'll end up back in the right place. We should end up at Deadfall, that's ultimately where we're aiming for. I'm kind of hoping this will take us there. I'm pretty sure it will. I'm pretty sure this will drop us into where we need to be. And if I am wrong... It's one of these maps from Mystery Lake that I know it very well because it is the original map of the game. But I still get lost on certain bits of it. Here we are. So we're coming around into Deadfall. And we have some old man's beard up ahead of us, so we want to grab that. And I'm hoping that with these three trees that I can see it on, that will be enough. So we'll grab this one first. And some sticks as well for firewood. If we happen to walk past any. Okay, we've got three pieces on here, I think. 
So let's harvest one, two, and three. There we go. So if we now head over to this tree, lots of bunnies. I think I may have missed a tree, but quite frankly, I think we've probably got enough here. Okay, and I think that's going to be enough. I did miss a tree, I walked straight past it, it's over there, but I think we've got enough, so I'm not going to worry too much, because we are getting a bit chilly. So let's pick up a few sticks. Oops. Okay, I'm going to see if I can, obviously I am still pretty heavily encumbered, I'm going to see if there is anything I can drop in camp office and use camp office as our sort of base camp in this area. I'd, I'd probably prefer to do that than Trapper's Homestead because I don't know if we leave anything in Trapper's Homestead whether it may go missing. If Jeremiah tidies up or something, I don't know, so... I'm being a little bit cautious because I honestly don't know what's going to happen, so I'm just being a bit careful. Okay, we've got some rose hips coming up here. So let's grab these rose hips. Okay, cool. So there's rose hips. And we've got some more over here. Need to find some place to escape this cold. Yep, it's not a problem. We're not very far from camp office now, we're fine. Okay, we'll head this way. So hopefully we've now got all the old man's beard and most of the rose hips that we need. We'll do a bit of counting when we get out of the cold. So if I just pick up a stick and keep on going forward. Under the world famous gnarly tree. <laughs> These very distinctive trees that make arches and things, they act as kind of direction markers for key locations and things like that. They do come in handy to navigate by. Okay. So we're actually doing okay. We've only just uh, started to hit hypothermia risk. We are at frostbite risk. Now we've just hit hypothermia risk. Uh, we're at frostbite risk because I've lost my hat, so my head is exposed. Uh oh. The music is playing. I think the trigger for the music is um, when you hit certain condition levels and things, so we're very cold. We've gone red on the, on the temperature indicator, so it's playing the mournful music. And I have actually realised this, I do keep the long dark the actual audio from the game, uh, the volume quite low uh, because when the wind picks up it can get quite hard for you to hear me on the commentary but um, I'm, I'm still trying to find the right balance so that you can still hear the dialogue and you can still hear the music but without it drowning out everything and getting too loud so I am still working on that, and I keep adjusting it every time I do a video, particularly with the cutscenes, because I've uh, the, the dialogue on the cutscenes I really am having to boost the audio up on, so hopefully we can get that balance a little bit better. Oh, we've got some more rose hips right outside camp office, that's helpful. We'll grab those. And let's get inside and warm ourselves up. Oh, we've got some more. We'll grab them all because I think we, we may need to end up using rose hips and reishi mushrooms because we are a bit short of food. I'm kind of hoping I left some food behind in the camp office. I don't know if I did and I may not have done but at least if I did, okay we've got some lantern fuel and all that kind of jazz. Okay, have we got anything in the medicine cabinet? Oh I didn't search this when I came in before. That's nothing in it anyway. Um. I don't know how, I don't think I did a massively thorough search when I came in before, did I? I think we kind of... I think I can use this. Yes, but we're going to leave it behind there. I think I kind of did a bit of a... I did a bit of a man look, I think. Okay, so, we're going to go with wood matches, we're going to light with a stick, uh, and that will give us a very good chance of getting a good fire going. And we're going to use this fire for a couple of things. One, to warm ourselves up, obviously. And two, to make a, a little bit more water, some of which I'm going to stash here. So if we can make a bit of water, 
we can stash it here rather than carry it around. And then I'm just going to do a little bit of tidying up with my carrying load and just see if there's anything I think I can leave behind in camp office that I don't need to carry with me. Just try and reduce my carrying weight a little bit. There we go. So we've got ourselves a fire lit. Let's chuck that fire log on. Doesn't kick much heat out, but it gives us a decent fire duration. So let's just melt uh, two litres, I think, of snow. And then we'll boil. Oh, purify. We might as well purify it since we've got purifying uh, tablets. I've just realised that my condition is a little bit on the low side. There is actually another hatchet here as well. So I know you've probably all noticed that and are screaming at me right now that there's a hatchet there. I have seen it. And it's actually in really good condition, so we'll probably keep that one rather than the other one. And I will give bonus points to anyone who spotted that when we came in here before, because I certainly didn't. Slow me down. Uh, yeah, we didn't really search at all, did we, when we came in here before? We just kind of ran in and ran out, didn't we? So, book. Stacks of papers we can use for Tinder. I think we're just going to do a full loot, I think, here. We're just going to pick everything up. Um, I don't think there's any weak. So we can use all that for Tinder. Let's have a quick look around through the metal boxes. Some more purification tablets. Another line which I'm going to drop. Fishing tackle I'll take. Hook I'll drop. You have to excuse me, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> excuse me. Uh, we have another storm lantern here. And we have a lot of books that obviously we can use as fuel. Uh, more matches. Sewing kits. More stacks of papers, and we've got a book on the floor, more stacks of papers. So I am now carrying a heck of a lot. Way over our carrying capacity. Here's a piece of cloth. We've still got our clothing repair to do. Stove is still going and warming us up. That's good. We need some food. Which we are rather short of. I'm going to drink some water as well. There we go. Well, if we are now using this as a base, of course, that does mean that we can uh, potentially go out and hunt or harvest more papers. We will be converting all these papers into uh, into Tinder in a minute. More books, more books, more books. Lots and lots of books. Weigh a ton. Uh, obviously, we've got a... We have a fire up here, stove, so I am going to drop a lot of this stuff up here. In fact, I'm going to use this trunk. Uh, we've got some clothing in there, which in theory we can break down for cloth if all else fails. I'm going to use this trunk to store some of the stuff I'm carrying. So, um, firewood for a start. We're carrying a lot of books, so let's transfer those books across over there. We're carrying a lot of matches as well. We probably don't need to be carrying quite so many, so let's drop some of those. Uh, stacks of papers, uh, we probably need to convert into tinder. We're going to drop that cattail head, um, and we're going to drop one of those accelerants, and I think we'll convert the papers into tinder. So let's do that. Whoops, wrong thing. Whoops. Oh. Okay, you can't craft them that many. My bad. Uh, let's find those stacks of papers then, and that's... Harvest those down into tinder plugs, and then we'll drop some of those tinder plugs into the trunk. I think this video is mainly going to be about housekeeping, to be honest, because we've kind of let ourselves go a bit with all this travelling we've been doing in the last uh, couple of videos. We've obviously come back from Broken Railroad across for Lawn Must Care quite a long way. It's quite a long trek that we've done. So we've kind of neglected our housekeeping duties. There we go. So we've now got 19 tinder plugs. So we don't need that many. So let's ditch probably 10 of them into there. So we've got a nice little collection of fire starting materials in here. Anything else we can ditch? Um, I'm going to... We'll keep those for now. Drop this somewhere else. We've got a lot of rose hips. Far more than we need. Um, but we will keep them because we can make use of them. So what are we carrying in here? Bolt cutters. I'm going to drop into this container. Um, ooh, I'm going to drop my worst hatchet. I'm going to drop that rope. That's heavy. I'm going to drop that cleaning kit. Um, 
I probably don't need that. Oh no, hang on, I haven't got a knife. Okay, so I don't want to get rid of that just yet because I haven't got a knife. Um, whetstone we probably don't need to be carrying around with us. Flashlight I'm obviously going to hang on to. Distress pistol. I'm going to keep the distress pistol uh, simply because it could come in handy. But we have got rid of a few things that do weigh a bit. So we've got rid of a 5 kilo rope. 3 kilos worth of um, hatchet and bolt croppers. So we have got rid of a bit of heavy stuff there. So that will hopefully help with our carrying load a little bit. Food wise we are really not doing too well. So that's the next priority I think. Uh, medicines are okay on. Fast starting stuff we are okay on. So I think we've kind of tidied up as best we can at the moment. Uh, again, normally I would probably ditch virtually everything I'm carrying to carry absolute bare essentials, but I don't really want to do that because I don't know where the story's going to take me, so I kind of want to keep hold of things. Um, one thing we do desperately need to do though is some repair work. I need cloth, so I've got a spare pair of trousers here which I can harvest. So they're going to give me one piece of cloth, but I'm hoping that will give me two pieces of cloth in total because I'm already carrying one. That will let me repair Will's coat because it's not in great condition. Oh, it didn't work! That's just highly annoying. We lost the two pieces of cloth. Well, perfect. Well, I think we're going to have to break down the curtains then. Or there we go. Let's break down random things that we have lying about that we can break down into cloth. I've got the bedroll here as well. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, let's head back so hungry in my life. and try that repair again. There we go. That's a bit better. Okay, so we've now repaired the coat a little bit, so the coat's in better condition. Uh, that ski jacket is still not brilliant, so that needs some work, and we are going to lose the gloves fairly soon if we are not careful. I think our priority is food. Um, we need food. We need to go and find some food. That's that's really high on our priority list. But we have ditched an awful lot of the weight that we were carrying, so uh, we're in better condition now. So, um, what have we got? I think we are. We, uh, we've got time, I think, to just go and have a little bit of a look outside, see if there's anything nearby that we can that we can use for food. Um, it's reishi mushrooms. We need some reishi mushrooms. For our challenge. Do, 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 do. I think we've pretty much got everything else. We just need race mushrooms. If we've got all um, cattail stalks down here by the lake. This is part of the reason why I came over here. And then I realised that I actually already had enough. And I'd already put them in there. But never mind. Because we haven't actually been out onto the lake at any point so far. Um, just that there aren't that many. We're going to head for that fishing hut. Let's see if we can get to that fishing hut. Now, I think some sections of this are now thin ice, uh, which they never used to be, I think. I'm not sure. Best say we'll find out. Um, we seem to be alright. So we're going to head into this ice fishing hut. This is a nice one because this one's got a door on it. We may find things in here, but we can shut the door and keep ourselves safe. And there's a furnace, uh, there's a, a stove in here that we can light, which obviously will give us a little bit of warmth. Deer over there. We are actually in a position to. Oh, hang on a minute. This one doesn't have a door on it. Oh, I thought it did. Well, that's a nuisance. At least we got some firewood out of it. Another line. We have got a little bit of food, so that's not complete. Disaster. I was kind of hoping that this one had the door. I'm sure this one has a door. Or used to have a door. There's a no, it won't. <laughs> We're going to leave it behind. Uh, what's the temperature in here? It's zero. Because um, I've kind of been thinking we could do ice fishing. Um, is that hut got a door on it? Let's head to that hut. I don't think we have a mission to explore the lake and find out about the shooting that Jeremiah mentioned so 
But we are kind of doing that, because he said it was on the far side of the lake. That's where we're heading. Oh, this one hasn't got a door either. Have they taken the doors off? For uh, winter mute. Because these did have doors on them. Okay, we've got some more firewood. We've got some identical food. It's almost like a groundhog day. It's a bit of cloth there. So I'll we'll have that. Anything on the shelf? Yes. More food. Well, we need to eat some food, so let's eat some food. Okay. Well, we're really... We're really tired now as well. I've just I just realised that. It's because we've been sprinting with uh, highly encumbered, so uh, we're tired. I'm going to head for these huts over here, and I think we'll sleep over here before we head back to camp office. So We've almost dropped down to our normal survival sandbox start on Mystery Lake kind of thing. Head for camp office and then start exploring the lake. And looting the cabins, and that's actually kind of what we're doing. Kind of doing the same thing we normally do. So we've got a fair few deer over here. It looks like we've got a dead dude. I think it is a dead dude on the ground. It's not a deer. It is a dead dude. With blood. Shit. Looks like someone found you. Okay. Hello dear. <laughs> well we've actually now got an updated mission, so let's have a quick look. I assume it's a side mission. Find the cache in Alan's K. Forest talk supply caches. Mystery Lake for Lower Musk Keg. Maintenance Yard. Lake Gunshots. Follow the trail of blood. Oh, so we did actually have a side mission for this. Jeremiah said he heard gunshots. Could it have been something to do with the forest talkers? Follow the trail of blood. Do I want to do it now? Well the trail of blood actually goes where I was going anyway, so. Let's follow the trail of blood. It actually does go where I was going, which is to these cabins. The blood trail does indeed lead straight to the cabin I was aiming for, which is this one. I'm slightly nervous now. Oh, it's locked. Oh, someone's in here. We've discovered, uncovered important documents in the dam. Might have some relevance to what's happening. We're going to take our leader up north. We hid them. Maybe you can get them. They're under a loose tile at the bottom of the stairwell in the dam. Maybe with your help I can complete my mission here. After all, I'll see what I can do. Here's the key to the trailer. I'll slide it under the door. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so that's the logging camp trailer key. So we can go, we can go and... Uh, have a look in the logging camp. The bad news is that I was planning on using that cabin. Oh no, I was going to use these to shelter. Um, but they are locked and I can't get in them. Oh no, okay. That is a bummer. And the weather's taken a turn for the worse and we are a long way from camp office. We are hungry, we are tired, we can no longer sprint. This ain't good. This ain't good at all. So we're now battling through a whiteout in a blizzard with minus 10 degrees frostbite risk. No hypothermia risk at the minute. We are red on sleep. We are getting hungry. We have no shelter. I can't get into the cabins I was going to use. All in all, it's going well. These cabins have lost their doors. So we can't even properly, safely shelter in them. This is going to be a long trek back to camp office. A long, long trek back to, back to camp office. Okay, so let's just let's ignore the cabins because they're very little use to us. Let's just head straight back along the lake. Back to, back to camp office. We're going to get steadily slower and slower because we are exhausted. We're encumbered. The more tired we get, the more encumbered we become because our carrying capacity drops. We're going into a headwind. <laughs> 
63% condition. Okay, we are hungry as well. All in all, this isn't going well. I know. Okay, we're red on hunger now as well. Well, we can take care of that, I suppose. That at least stops us losing condition that way. We've still got one heck of a long way to go, though. At least we're not at hypothermia risk just yet, so even if we drop to hypothermia risk, it's uh, which we will, inevitably, It's not a complete disaster. I'm just going to keep forcing our way against the headwind here that we are battling against. We're getting slower and slower as we get more tired. I can see the flagpole. I can see the flagpole. I'm just hoping we don't encounter any walls right now because that would be a bad thing. This isn't quite how I planned on ending this video, having to trek all the way back to Mystery Lake. I was planning on staying over in those cabins. That was my plan. Get myself sorted out, get our condition up a little bit, and then kind of loop around the other cabins, look for any food and supplies, and then head back to camp office. And then go back to Jeremiah to drop off the items that we've gathered because I think we've got everything that we need. We've certainly got enough rose hips. I am pretty sure we've got enough um, uh, old man's beard. The only thing that we're short of is reishi mushrooms so we just need to do a little bit of checking on that but of course we could head to the logging camp now that we have a side mission to do that and we have the key for it. We could always head round to the logging camp, pick up the stuff from there, and hope that we find some racial mushrooms on the way. Then loop back to Jeremiah, and then come back to Mystery Lake and to the the mysterious person inside the cabin. Okay, we're nearly back at camp office now. Not very far to go. Very slow. Very slow going. We are about to hit hypothermia risk. We should be absolutely fine now. Getting back into camp office. There we go. There we are. So just as we get hypothermia risk, we get back in through the door. So all is good, although it is pitch black in here. Have we got a storm lantern? Just want to find the storm lantern and we'll light a flare or anything. There we are. So we can actually see what we're doing. Uh, right, okay, what I'm going to do then, we are going to head upstairs. We are going to see if we can eat something and then we're going to sleep and then we'll make it through the night and we shall pick up where we left off. Uh, in the next of our videos, but let's turn that out before we do anything. Pitch black is how we are ending today's long dart. So we're going to eat the beef jerky. God, we really are short of food. Uh, we're going to eat. We're going to drink. We've not actually got much in the way of food there. That's going to be a major issue. We eat another cattail stalk. I've only got one. Hopefully that will give us enough. Well, I can certainly sleep for a couple of hours. That's enough for me to save the game and for me to say thank you very much for watching as always. Come to the end of our eighth video, second chapter of The Long Dark. So we've got our survival lessons to do. Hopefully next time round we can uh, we can make our way over to uh, back to Jeremiah, drop off all the bits and pieces. We need to find some racial mushrooms on the way, but I'm sure we'll, we'll be able to find those. Get ourselves back to Jeremiah, drop off, turn in this mission, and I dare say then we've got a fair few more missions to do in his survival school before we can carry on down the main quest line but right now i am going to say thank you very much for watching and i shall see you again very soon